I always dream when I work with people that, you know, that we can make a relationship where if something is right, you can come work again. You know, I've seen, you know, people like Adam Sandler have his crew and Ben Stiller have his crew of actors and, and Spike Lee have his crew of people that he usually work with. And I wanted to, you know, have a team of people that that I can kind of always call up and, you know, because of our past movies and dealings that they'll run and jump and, you know, do cameos in our movies and make them better. See, I was just an ordinary guy. Man, go say something to her. Get it. Nikki, <clears throat> I was just wondering. You throw this away? You were supposed to get the number, not doo-doo. Till I played those numbers. Hell, you play the lottery? The machine just broke. What do you mean it broke? I'm joking. No, I'm joking. Now I know your mama beat the black on both of us if she know we ain't played them numbers. Ha, ha, ha. Winning numbers. 42, 33, 4, 32, 45, and 21. <laughs> Grandma. You okay, boy? We won the lottery. We won! <laughs> No, nobody can know about this, all right? I just need to go down there and turn the ticket in. It's closed. Closed? For the 4th of July. For this three whole days. We're the only ones that know about the ticket. What can go wrong? I want to have your baby. I know your mama. What is all of this? Now. Kevin. Yo, he's coming. Who's coming? Jesus. No, not Jesus. Uh, Lorenzo, man, he's out of jail. It's every man for himself. Can you protect yourself at all times? Yeah. What you got? Come on, I, I, just get your left foot. Sitting down with Ice Cube, who is the executive producer and co-star in the new movie, Lottery Ticket. How are you? All right, how you doing? I'm doing good. All right, so this film talks a lot about the idea of being rich and being wealthy. Yeah. What do you think about that idea and how have you balanced it in your own life? You know, to me being rich is having a lot of money. <laughs> being wealthy is your family have a lot of money. So, uh, you know, hopefully we're getting to the wealthy part. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's really all about trying to stay yourself mm -hmm. in all this. Because, you know, you know, a lot of people are coming at you a lot of people are saying that you're wonderful and you're the best and you got to keep everything in perspective you got to know who you are know what you what you are right and um if you don't you can lose yourself quick and get caught up and you know just be brand new <laughs> And you, uh, you box anybody I know? <laughs> you ever heard of Muhammad Ali? Have I? <laughs> Larry Holmes, Ernest Shavers, Ken Norton. What, you think I'm lying? Look, man, I was their sparring partner. They used to give me $300 a round to spar. That's big money back then. I never got my shot, you know? I never got a, a real fight, but hey, I'm here. The company Cube Vision that you started with um, Matt Alvarez, was there a, 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 like an idea that you had for the, for the type of projects that you wanted to produce? What is your vision for Cube Vision as a whole? We wanted to do movies for our audience. Uh, you know, with Friday and Next Friday and even Barbershop, we've developed a core audience that, you know, we're not going to ignore mm -hmm. or forget about. Right. You know, we're going to cater to it. And, um, and, you know, Matt Alvarez is dedicated to that, you know. Of course, we want to expand. We'll do other movies, you know, not just hood uh, <laughs> right. classics, so to speak. Right. but. We wanna we wanna do other things, but this is our specialty so far, uh, and I didn't wanna shy away from that because of any preconceived notion. You know, right? You're too big to do this kind. Right. You know, you, you know you've done all we there yet in triple X. You know why are you, you know, still doing the first Sundays and and lottery tickets? But to me, you gotta give your audience what they want, not just what you wanna do. You get an audience what they want from you. 
you come from hip hop. That's mm -hmm. that's how you got started. Hip hop is, especially in the media, a culture that is heavily influenced on outward money, outward shows of of, of wealth. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this film will hopefully maybe influence more people to give back? Well, you know, I just want to teach people to not be so materialistic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not really all about what you got, what you could do for somebody. It's all about the real relationship between people. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the people with some get too much love in the neighborhood, and the people that ain't got nothing get too much hate in the neighborhood. Yeah. So, you know, it's like with a movie like this, you get to really see, you know, what would happen if you got all this money? You know, would you want it? <laughs> would you right. want your life to be different to the point where the people that you love are brand new on you? Uh, so I just wanted to kind of show them lessons. Whether, you know, dudes give back, you know, I don't think you got to be rich to give back. I don't think you got to be, you got to hit the lotto to win back or got to be a rapper to give back. I think every person, even if they ain't got money, they got time and you can always give back. So, you know, uh, what I think is a neighborhood waits too long for celebrities and people that they think got enough money for them to to give back and the people that's right there in the neighborhood, they gotta step up too. Got it. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, thank All you. Right. Nice to see you. It's my ticket. I don't know, they probably stole it. That's why you was knocked out. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, that about sums it up. Wait a minute. I don't know you didn't knock me out yourself and stole my ticket.